1960, the top secret army base in Wall Township, New Jersey, known as Camp Evans, was ground stationed for Tyros-1, the world's first successful Earth-observing weather satellite. This would allow for the first time a live feed of images of the Earth from space. The historic launch of Tyros-1 took place on April 1, 1960 in Cape Canaveral, Florida. In its gantry at Cape Canaveral, Florida, a Thor Abel rocket is ready to carry this weather observation satellite on a new space adventure called Tyros-1 for television and infrared observation satellite. It contains the most complete collection of instruments ever assembled to study the use of space vehicles for comprehensive weather observation. The most important of these being two Viticon cameras, one armed with a wide angle lens of vast scope, the other with a standard narrow range lens. Both record on this magnetic tape machine and on command send their scannings back to Earth. The historic launching of the Thor Abel carrying the Tyros-1 in its bulbous nose takes place at 6.40 a.m., a peacetime use of a deadly war missile that promises humanity a new era in meteorology. Graphic animation supplied by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration shows how the last stage of the rocket shot the satellite into orbit. A circular path over the Earth, 50 degrees north to 50 degrees south, between 400 and 450 miles out in space. A flying lady's hat box that circles the globe every 90 minutes, during which every two seconds, the wide-angle lens scans 800 square miles. Recordings, it's directed to send back to this receiving station at Fort Monmouth, New Jersey. Another space triumph for the U.S., which is explained to Ike at the White House by space agency head Glennon, who produces a picture sequence of the satellite scannings. Today, more than 50 years later, we have come to realize the significance and impact of this grand achievement in science, engineering, and communication. Weather prediction gives advanced warning to prepare from devastating storms, tornadoes, hurricanes, and typhoons, saving millions of lives. The Tyros program was a major success for NASA only two years after the agency formed, so successful that it eventually expanded to create the vital Earth-observing work of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. InfraWage Science History Museum is hoping to restore this national historic landmark to once again communicate with satellites and explore deep space. Our mission? To preserve, educate, and honor scientific innovation and inspire new generations of thinkers, dreamers, and visionaries. InfoAge and its partners are currently raising funds to restore the original Tyros satellite dish to operational status and eventually create a NASA-style control room and exhibit to serve the community as a learning resource and honor the incredible history that took place here. InfoAge relies on the support from the community to continue its mission. Please help support the museum by going to infoage.com backslash donate.